Okay, I had an additional follow-up question with regard to how was the scatter plot actually constructed. So I'm going to try to recreate this from scratch here, where the user simply wanted to know uh, how this initial layout was built. So I'm going to go over to a blank page, and I will open up the scatter chart visual and add this here. And one of the things with the data uh, that, that comes in is uh, I need to rely on a period field and a group field. And if I simply pull in the group, that's going to be my x-axis uh, for the, the position of the elements. I can see the point show up. And this uses uh, the electric theme. That's why you're seeing it blue instead of the default green. Uh, the electric theme seemed to work very well with the uh, the black background. Uh, so I may flip that over here in a, a few seconds to, to black. But uh, just to build the, the scatter plot, I've got group on my X. And you'll notice that I have period and period reversed. And I'll add period first, and you'll see why I, I switch it over to reversed in a second, where when I pull in symbol for the different elements onto my details, everything is upside down. So if I look at the data uh, for period, you'll see that it's all positive numbers. And what I need to do to get the correct positioning is I need to say hydrogen, in this case, needs to be at the top rather than the bottom. So I created a calculated column quickly that allowed me to do that. And uh, Power Query probably would be the, the better place to do this, but I used the DAX calculated column for this one-off report. So I'm simply multiplying it by negative 1. And instead of using period, if I use this period reversed and uh, set my aggregation there, you'll now notice that the periodic table appears the way that I would expect it to, uh, rather than upside down. So uh, a few other things here, and it's mostly just formatting. Uh, I need to come into Format and look at my x-axis. And I have a start and end. And I could flip this to uh, 0 from Auto and maybe 19 from auto, just so that it's going to be static positioning instead of uh, the automatic positioning. And I will do the same thing for Y, where I don't want these to get cut off. So maybe I choose uh, 0 as my end and negative 8 as my start. Uh, you can also do this in, in you know half uh, increments with a decimal there, but we'll just use integers. And from here on out, uh, it's simply a matter of coming in. Maybe I want to change the shape so that uh, instead of the circle, I see the squares that I was using. And I had increased the size uh, quite a bit. I think I used 30. And I'm going to remove the grid lines, remove some of the formatting for the X and Y axis. And uh, if I can get away with it, I'm just going to flip the toggle here to off. But you'll notice that I still see the labels for the different axes. So what I'm going to do instead is if I flip this back on, I can uh, flip the toggle specifically for title and grid lines just to make sure that everything is going to be off. There we go. And now I have the, uh, the look that I want. I'm going to remove the title for the entire scatter chart here. And in this case, everything is blue. If I flip back to my original table here on a different page, uh, you'll notice that I have different colors uh, for the group blocks, or the element group block is the name of the field here. So I'll find this in my data and apply this on the legend for my scatter plot. And because uh, I'm using this electric theme, uh, it doesn't work as well on the white background. So what I will do is I will come out to the format area and select page background when I'm not selecting the scatter chart or any other visual and flip it to black. And from here, I will adjust the legend. So I'll click on the scatter chart again, go to format. And uh, what I had done for the original table is I had adjusted the position of the legend so it was on the bottom and actually I think it was bottom center and uh, changed the color so that it was white maybe adjust the size so that it is uh, a little bit more readable and 
the thing that I'm missing here is the value for the points. So if I look at category uh, and toggle that on, now I can see uh, the labels for the different points. And if I want to adjust the color there, I'll click uh, white so it stands out more in the black background. I will increase the size a bit and maybe change the, uh, the font to be consistent with uh, some of the other text on the page and the legend. So uh, it may not be exactly what I had here, but I, at least in my opinion, it's close enough. And that's how I built the scatter chart from scratch.